Hello world and welcome back to another Minecraft tutorial where today we're starting a brand new mod, that being Immersive Engineering. If this video helps you out in any way, shape or form, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and ring the bell button for more immersive tutorials in the future. So first up, I'd just like to say that with this tutorial series, we are going to be covering not just only immersive engineering, but the other branches of immersive engineering as well, such as immersive petrochem. And today we're going to be not covering so much of the electricity side of things, but how to get started with this mod, that being all the basic materials and the basic machines that you're going to need to get started. So let's begin. The first thing we're going to need is the engineer's manual. This is a book for immersive engineering and it will essentially tell you how to do everything when it comes to this mod. You are just going to need one book and one lever inside a crafting table. It can be anywhere, it's a shapeless craft and then you get yourselves one immersive engineering manual. Now inside of here it's all got loads of different components. This isn't actually the main page, this is the main page as you can see here. Lovely time to get a backup. And if you want to search anything specifically, so if you just want to search in here say hemp, I know hemp's in the game, you'll get this little handy fella. Who give you suggestions to what you typed and also it will come up exactly with what you're typing. It's a very very handy useful book, you can go forward, you can go backwards with right click and left click, it's very very handy. So moving on from there we have six different ores that are in this mod. We have copper, bauxite, lead, silver, nickel and uranium. These are the only six that are brought with immersive engineering. Uh, it's a bit strange that there's no tin but there's no tin in immersive engineering which is a little bit strange. And for anyone who doesn't know, bauxite essentially means aluminium, or if you're in America, aluminium. As well as the ores, we also have a crop. We have here industrial hemp seeds. This is what they get. You, you can get these just the way you can get any seeds, which is just by breaking all the gr tall grass that are in the world, and then you place them as if you're planting wheat. But they grow a little bit differently. As you can see, one is nearly finished and one is fully finished. When you have to wait for these to grow, they will get up to this stage, but that does not mean you should break them. The fruit, or essentially the he industrial hemp fiber, is what grows on top. So what you want to break is just the bits on top top. Now I'm going to jump into survival here just so I can actually harvest this. If I now break this block you can see that we get what looks like two fibers, yes two fibers and one industrial hemp seed and it will now stay at this level. You can actually break these down and get the seeds as well. So if I break this one here you can see that I do get a little bit of hemp and the seeds but the best way to actually grow it is to go from all the way from this starting stage to this stage and then more fruit just keeps popping. That, that means you just don't have to keep planting. You can always just you know increase your size of your field by just harvesting the fruit on top. Aside from that, we're not going to go any further with industrial hemp seeds today and industrial hemp fibers. There are many things you can make with them, but they'll come later when we go into a little bit of electricity. Moving on, there are now two very basic and necessary tools required inside of immersive engineering. There is a third one, which is a little bit newer, but we won't be covering that today. The very first thing we're going to need is actually the engineer's hammer. The engineer's hammer is using two iron diagonally like this, one string and two sticks inside any crafting table. Now, this is the only way you can make it. I don't know if you can make it in reverse. Oh, we actually can. Well, there you go. You can make it in reverse as well if you wanted to. So let's get ourselves one of them, which we already have. Then the next new thing you're going to need is the engineer wire cutters. The engineer wire cutters are just made with two sticks and one iron. Very, very cheap and easy. Love to see here. We got one of these already. Now the two main functions of these: the hammer can use be used to complete your machines. So this pack or this mod rather is all about multi-block structures. So once you've built a full, full multi-block structures, you're gonna have to right click a block with the engineer's hammer to actually complete it and create it. But as well as that, the engineer's hammer can be used to make plates. So this is where you get your iron plates, your silver plates, and so on and so forth. As well as making dusts, if you wanted to go that route. The wires are a very similar story. What that can do is it can take your plates and actually turn them into electrical cabling, such as steel wire, electron wire, and lead wire. It can also be used for actually removing your wires from the different power poles that are around your world but we'll get that in a later video. So one of the very first machines you're going to want is a coke oven which you can see here. Now to make the coke oven you're going to need some of these coke bricks as you can see here. The coke brick you are going to get three of these per craft. It's crafted using one of your lovely beautiful standstones, four clay little blobs and four clay bricks but they're unfired clay bricks I believe. No they're not, they're, they're obviously 
bonus clay balls of course and as you can see you get three of these per craft you can also create these using um as you can see full clay box but uh that's a little bit of a waste as you can see now you need 27 of these in total as you can see here this is a three by three solid structure as you can see we're going to build this just to demonstrate how it all works if i can get myself some blocks i'm in survival i'm in survival still aren't i so let's get ourselves some blocks we're just going to simply do a three by three as you can see here it's very very quick and easy no gaps in between and the way you actually choose which direction you want your furnace to be facing you see we have this sort of like orangey opening bit here is you take your engineer's hammer and you right click on the center block as you can see here now this is the facing side now what we can do is break this and put this any other side that you want you cannot have the opening on the top or bottom however you can still access this furnace from the top if you wanted to so what do you use the coke oven for it is only used for one thing or technically two if you think about it that way the only thing that can go in here is either coke coal blocks as you can see this one's crafting away or regular coal itself charcoal cannot go in this machine now it's obviously going to take nine times longer than if you if you're using a coal block so i started a little bit ahead of time and you can see we've got a little bit of a progress bar right here if we click on show recipes you can see that we can actually do other things we can put wood in here to actually make charcoal and this will also give us a byproduct of creosote oil but what we're doing here is turning our coal block into a coal coke block and this will also give us creosote oil and then the last thing is obviously coal into just one piece of coal coke to give us a little bit of the other creosote oil every craft in here will give us a byproduct of creosote oil so we'll see that once this eventually ticks all the way down this little flame once it is completely full it's going to give us our block and it's going to fill up with 5,000 millibuckets of creosote oil now to get the creosote oil out of here you can just use a regular bucket but you can also pipe it out now remember to get a bucket you're going to need 1,000 millibuckets so we'll have to come back when this is completely finished so we can pull enough out and there we go we finally finished we've now got 5,000 creosote oil in here we can take our bucket put it in the blue it will come out in the orange and here we go we now have a thousand millibuckets of our creosote oil right here so let's go over some of the properties that these items now have a cold coke a single cold coke can now smelt 16 items in a furnace if you didn't know a block of coal or a single coal piece sorry that only smells eight items so once you've gone through this process a piece of cold coke can now do 16. similarly a block of cold coke can now smelt 160 items which is obviously better than a block of or sorry a bucket of lava on the creosote side of things there are two things that you can recreate one of them is torches you can get 12 torches per one bucket of creosote oil which is essentially just a byproduct of free torches for this you're going to need one piece of wool it can be any color wool doesn't have to be white and three sticks along the bottom and then obviously your one piece of creosote and you'll get yourself some 12 torches another thing you can create is treated wood using creosote oil treated wood is an another component for many many things inside of immersive engineering now you can create this by using one creosote bucket in the center and any eight planks around the set around the sides as you can see we're using oak planks here but inside the crafting table we have got oak planks birch planks and spruce planks with one creosote and it still makes the eight treated wood planks from the craft so you can mix and match with whatever you want to use now we won't be going any more about treated wood today but we will later on in the series so now let's try and use this cold coke a little bit more efficiently by making another basic machine which is the blast furnace the blast furnace is going to require some blast brick you're going to need 27 of them just like the the coke oven to make the blast brick you're going to need one magma block four bricks and regular old minecraft clay bricks and four nether bricks if you don't know how to make nether bricks it is a vanilla thing but you just have to smelt netherrack and obviously the magma that's probably from the nether uh, from the nether as well for the quickest and easy worst way of getting it now for this you will get three at every single craft similar with the coke oven and again you need 27 of these in total so here is our blast furnace it is built the exact same way as the coke oven it is a three by three by three structure as you can see here and everything works the exact same as the coke oven so if we quickly demonstrate this now we're going to need our hammer again in order to pick a side of where we would like to actually have our blast furnace facing so if we right click here in the center we now get this little hole which means we know things have been fully formed 
So now let's take a look inside our furnace here. You can see that we've already placed in a little bit of cold coke here. It will only work with cold coke here. You can use a block of cold coke, but the cold coke is the only thing you can go in here. Now, the only thing the blast furnace does, and that is create steel. Now, in order to make steel, you're obviously gonna need the cold coke as mentioned, but you're also gonna need some iron ingots. Now, you're gonna need to put one iron ingot in the top slot here. It will use up that coal, and it's gonna be similar where this is gonna start burning down, and you're actually gonna need a little bit more than just one cold coke in order for it to work. Sometimes a little bit finicky but it's best to keep one in there just in case now the good thing about this is that if you do run out of all your cold coke in here and have no nothing left to burn the progress will stay inside the blast furnace it won't start receding and it won't stop and you won't have to start again so there is no wastage now once this is completed this is going to create two things it's going to create steel and slag slag is just a byproduct it's pretty much of a wasted block the only things you can really do are create concrete just the same way as you would in my in vanilla it's just basically a, a way of making vanilla concrete but as well as that you can also make this asphalt here which is a uh, part of immersive petroleum which is uh something that we'll show a little bit later if this also needs a bit of bitumen and that is uh later on as well as that using machines you can use it to make sand or you can use it to make liquid concrete but the crusher and the mixer are a little bit more advanced so we won't be covering that anytime soon now the blast furnace is done you can see that we've now got one steel and one slag you can probably guess that steel is going to be required for many many things inside this mod uh, but we won't be covering too much of that today now there is one more machine that i would like to show off today and that is the alloy kiln this is essential way of putting two different types of metals together and making something new. Now the alloy kiln is very similar to the blast furnace and coke oven, except it's just a two by two, as you can see here. It's a lot smaller and a lot easier to craft. Now to make yourself some kiln bricks, you're going to need two standstone and two regular Minecraft bricks. And for each craft, you actually get two of them. So you only have to do this twice. Now, just as every other thing, you just need to place these four blocks down and then take and pick a side and you just want to right click anywhere on your with your hammer and it will create your alloy kiln. Now, looking inside the alloy kiln, we can see that it's a very similar interface compared to the other two. We have our two inputs at the top here, which is where your, al your actual metals are going to go. And down here, you're going to need your fuel, which we are going to be using just regular coal for this. So let's place that inside. Now, there are you'll see that there are actually four different recipes here, but inside of immersive engineering, there are only two that is making constant tan using copper and nickel and making electrum which is gold and silver in this if you have a mod pack you can also make bronze as you can see here but that's from the thermal series as well as you can make invar but again that's from the thermal series so we won't be covering that today so how about we quickly de demonstrate this let's take ourselves some nickel and some copper place these in here this will start crafting luckily it's quite a quick craft you might be able to get a couple of these just out of the one coal but once this is created you can see that we're actually going to get two since it's one of one ingot each we actually get two constant tan afterwards now just to show in basic form i know i've already mentioned but one copper and one nickel gives you two constant tan and one gold and one silver gets you two electrum now for today that is every single basic component that you are going to need and basic machine you are going to need to get started with immersive engineering but there is a lot more left to go next time we are going to be showing how you actually get power in order to get some of these slightly more advanced but simple machines inside of immersive engineering this is where we might be using some of this treated wood that i showed you how to create in order to make a water Water wheel or maybe even using some of the hemp in order to make ourselves some windmills but that is it for this episode if you enjoyed please give me a like and subscribe it would really help me out and if this video helped you out in any way shape or form ring the bell button for more tutorials in the future but until next time guys take care